Hello everybody and welcome to some more Beam and G Drive. We're back at the drag strip with another pro mod for another video. I've had requests in the past and still going on of people wanting to see stuff actually being put together. So I decided to do an engine build. So we're, we have, currently have the 423 that's in this with its glitchy ass butterflies and we're gonna do a run with it let's see what kind of time we put down or we may just put it in the wall and then we're gonna see whether our new the motor we build because it's not gonna be it's gonna be quite an unconventional motor if it can get anywhere near that time so, before we get into it, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, bell notification, tell your walls, punch a hole through the wall and tell a hole, and let's get into it. Let's go ahead and do a run with this 423. Let's fire it up. There we go. Let's purge the nitrous. Let's see if we can't get on this line without fucking up and jumping over the line. Thirteen a seven thirty one. Two hundred and thirteen miles an hour. Alrighty. So and the other one did a seven seven. Okay, let me uh write this down real quick just to remember for my personalness. Alrighty. Now let us do to do. Try and stop this thing without. It wanted to flip over. <laughs> Squirrely as hell. I didn't pay attention to the power numbers. This thing makes like. Like nearly 2900, uh, 26 something. So let's, uh, let try and get an actual power number here. It makes a stupid amount of power. Let's put it that way. So let's run over here. Back to the starting line. to keep from spinning. Pull over here into the parking lot. And let us front sub frame. So it deletes, oh shit. So it deletes everything off of the motor. All of the extras, everything. Nitrous, tuning, everything's gone. We're going to get a 188 cubic inch Eco Fleet in line 4. Went from a 423 V8 to this little inline. Don't that sound just lovely? Sounds just like a pro drag car. Oh, yeah. So, we're going to put a. Nope, I want to. Damn it. We're going to put. CJD race ECU. We're going to leave the long block stock because we have to for one of the next mods we're going to be using on this. Um, put a tubular header on it. No. We use race carburetors. We're gonna go down here and use the values overwrite. I'm 
We'll yank this three speed out and put oh one speed. That is fucking retarded. I've actually never seen that one speed before. Converter. Let's go back down here. We're gonna go with an extreme adjustable shot size. We're gonna put the big bottle of nitrous in it. Should have kept our radiator. Yes, it did. Uh, we're gonna throw a two-step launch control on it. Put stability control and traction control on it. We'll throw a race limiter on it. Now we're gonna go right up here and go into here. We're gonna go twin charge everything. I'm not gonna go stupid crazy in this because if we go too crazy, we'll end up with a ten thousand horsepower engine that just sends the rear wheels into freaking orbit. Custom single turbo. Uh, we're gonna leave the stock boost controller on it. We're just gonna change it out to a ball bearing supercharger. Clutch disengagement. We're gonna go up to a five lobe. We'll stay with the stock pulley. bearings, a race compressor wheel, uh, aftermarket oil lines and water cooling, race time, we're going to go with an expensive race turbine, and we're going to put a 20 PSI wastegate on it, which the wastegate, the It'll still read, not change over here, because it's reading off the supercharger, because that's the way this shit does. Um, and I think I like, if I remember correctly, it's Turbo Sound 7. It can blow off valve. This. Interesting sound. Together, 1500 shot of nitrous. Uh, I think I'm about where I'd like to be on most of this. Yeah. It didn't actually unupdate the fact that the motors were pretty much welded together. So that kind of saved time. Alright, so we're going to go no, one, race mode. Nitro system, and now we're gonna try and send this thing down the track and see how it does. Let me pull something up here. All right, our last one ran. Seven three oh one two hundred thirteen. Let's see what this does. Whoa, a six seven flat at two thirty nine. Um that was actually way, way more of an improvement than I thought we would have got out of that. Holy shit. Um, it actually came off the line a lot easier. I don't think we were making near as much torque as the V8. Um, 
Because the V8 just wanted to stand on its wheels and yank itself towards the wall. This stood up and just went straight. But, uh, yeah, that's... We need to stop this thing. That was a lot faster than I expected. Do one more pull on this, trying to get a horsepower number. We don't wreck into this truck. Yeah, about 3,000 horsepower, maybe? About 4,300 horsepower. Turn the blinkers on. Well, the hazards. Also, the steering wheel is in our pelvis, so we're dead. And on that note, we will end this. Until next time, later on, everybody.